people of Ventnor for allowing us to use your town to do this event. It's very good of you. Um, and also to Ventnor Branch who actually arranged it today. The Isle of Wight has a reputation for collecting the most money per capita for the, uh, the poppy appeal. And I think that's something we can be really proud of, that we support our, our servicemen and our veterans and families uh, in, in, in times of their, their need. So thank you all very much. I'd like to hand over now to the Lord Lieutenant. Ladies and gentlemen, good, good morning and thank you for inviting me to launch the 2016 Isle of Wight Poppy Appeal and congratulations for choosing a different venue each year and I think this is the first time that we've been to Ventnor and this is an important event in our calendar and one as the President said that raises so much money to support our service community. And as a soldier myself, I recognise the vital role of the Royal British Legion and it continues to play on behalf of the armed forces, both serving and retired. Here on the island, as you've heard, we continue to exceed expectations in fundraising terms. And every year we make a significant contribution to the national total. So the pressure is on, ladies and gentlemen, for 2016. And I understand that last year we raised something of the order of £134,000, which is a marvellous achievement. Very, very well done. Now, a hundred years ago, the First World War continued to rage in France, particularly on the Somme. And here on the Isle of Wight, this year, we've held several commemorative services to remember the battle that took so many islanders, including my own great uncle. These have included a service of remembrance at our World War I memorial in Carisbrook Castle Chapel. And indeed, we also held a similar service on the 31st of May, as we recalled our important naval connections and the Battle of Jutland. And this is, of course, why our Field of Remembrance opens each year in the Princess Beatrice Garden next to the chapel with a short service. And this year the ceremony is at 11 o'clock on Thursday the 10th of November. And finally, may I pay tribute and thank the local community here in Ventnor and of course the local Royal British Legion branch chaired by Major Danny McBeacon Firstly, for hosting such a splendid event and parade today, but also, and importantly, the moving way you continue to remember those from this town who fell in the First World War. You are a fine example to others. Thank you again, and my congratulations on a terrific parade. Thank you. We're joined to honour those whose lives have been marred and those who have fallen in war. A reading then from the book of Isaiah, chapter 2. Your best. Many peoples shall come to say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go instruction in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Jerusalem 